I feel like when you're starting out on guitar, there are just certain things you hear again and again from other guitarists that you just begin to take as fact. And one of those categories of things, at least for me, has been what string gauges are acceptable to put on your guitar. I remember when I went to replace the strings on my first guitar for the first time, I was searching to try to figure out what strings to put on it because I didn't really know what I was doing with strings at the time. And pretty much everyone was recommending 10s or maybe 9s, but not much else. There are probably some people recommending thicker strings as well, you know, saying that 9s and 10s were too thin for them, but I never saw someone recommending something thinner than 9s, so I kind of just assumed 9 was as low as you could go. Based on that, I decided to try 10s to start out, but I didn't like how they felt, they felt too stiff for me, so then I switched down to 9s and 9.5 hybrids on my guitars, and I've been using those since then. But recently I've been thinking about strings again, I've had some nerve related issues my hand in the past and recently had a joint issue. Overall, I just really value making my guitar as easy to play as possible. I don't want to have to fight the instruments and I want my hands to be as healthy as they can be long term. But even though I know that lighter gauge strings are going to be inherently easier to play, easier on the hands, easier on the joints, I've never seriously considered them. I think just because of this ingrained feeling that only nine plus strings are acceptable. But today I'm going to break that barrier. I'm going to try putting eights on my guitar for the first time and see how they feel. Going into this, I'm not certain if I will like them or not. I may go back to nines in the end, but I want to give them a fair shot and see how they feel. So yeah, let's put them on. And last but not least, the eight. <laughs> I feel like this is so light, I can't even feel that there's a string in here. Wow. <laughs> it's just like a hair or something. <laughs> this is very light. Hopefully I don't break this. <laughs> all right, strings all on, time to get it in tune. Tuning up the E string is kind of scary right now. <laughs> all right, I have the eight on now. I haven't reset up the guitar or anything. I might have to do that if I decide to keep them on long term, but let's just try it out and see how it feels. I'm not even sure what to try out first. I think I'm most interested in how vibrato and bends feel, but yeah, let's try it out. That feels awesome, actually. Okay, so first impressions, I really like it so far. The vibrato is really effortless. And the bends feel really good as well. I also feel like even single finger vibrato with my index finger feels okay. And I've had some index finger joint issues recently, so that is a promising sign. I'm honestly really enjoying these so far. So, so far compared to the knives that I'm used to, there's not a drastic difference, but there is a difference and I think I like it. Notes just feel a bit easier to bend. The vibrato is really nice as well, as I mentioned. And since the guitar is set up for nines, the action is really low with eights right now. And the notes are just super easy to push down. Like I barely have to apply any force at all. Just kind of rest my finger and it rings out perfectly. And this is awesome because you always want to try to use as little force as possible to avoid injury, and this makes it a little bit easier. So yeah, I like this. I do feel like it would be really easy to accidentally bend notes out of tune on the guitar without meaning to, like if you just put down a little bit too hard, kind of pull the string. But I think that's actually a good thing. I think playing on these strings will make you have to be aware of how much pressure you're putting on the strings. And yeah, at least for me, that is a good thing. That's something I want to be conscious of. <laughs> So, so far I haven't really tried out any more heavy riffs here, just mostly playing single note solo-y stuff. And I'm a little bit more skeptical going into this about how riffs will feel because I feel like you want to pick harder and that might be harder to do on eights, but let's see how it feels. <laughs> So power chords feel and sound good to me. I also like how you can do a little bit more vibrato than usual if you want to. At least easier than it usually is. And yeah, that works for me. Palm muting and down picking feels good too. <laughs> it definitely requires a lot more thought though to make sure you're not bending the notes out of tune and 
I think that will just require some getting used to it, but feels good, sounds good. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> some more riffs it does feel a little bit like I can't dig in quite as much as I'm used to when I'm playing palm meter stuff with my picking hand and I think that just might require some adjustment but I'm not totally sure if I like how that part feels as much as the other aspects of this like I like how the fretting hand feels a lot and how easy it is to bend and do vibrato but I'm not totally sure if I like how the picking hand feels when doing heavier riffing but I don't know that might need more time to figure out if I like it or not. I mean, they definitely sound heavy. <laughs> I think a key takeaway here might be that you can get a good sounding tone for any genre with any set of strings. Like if you're playing metal, you can definitely use eights or nines or tens. You don't need to use twelves or whatever to get a heavy tone. Other YouTubers like Rick Beato have done in-depth videos looking at how different string gauges sound. And if you need more evidence that all of them can sound good, I'd encourage you to go check out those videos. But yeah, I just recommend not making the string gauge choice based on tone, just thinking more about how it would feel. I feel like I can get used to these. <laughs> So while I haven't played these strings for a ton of time, my initial impressions are overall really positive. I really like how they feel to play in my fretting hand, and I think they will take some time getting used to, especially for me, maybe in my picky hand when doing riffs. But overall, I really like them. Based on my experience with them today, I am planning to keep them on this guitar for at least a month to try them out and see if I want to stick with them long term. And I honestly think I might want to. I don't think though that I can tune this guitar down to D standard with this current setup and with these eights. And I do do that relatively frequently. So I'll probably keep nines or 9.5 hybrids on my other guitars for now so I can have that tuning flexibility. And also I don't really want to restring the Floyd Rose guitar with a different string gauge. So yeah, this will probably be the only one with eights for now, but yeah, who knows long term. If I really like it, I may end up switching over. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like I should have tried these eights out much sooner than I did. I really like them so far and I'm excited to keep playing more with them in the future. If you've personally ever been even the littlest bit interested in trying out eights, or maybe just want to try to focus on having a more lightweight playing touch in your fretting hand, I definitely recommend trying them out. As I said before, they don't feel drastically different than nines to me, they just feel a little bit different and I like that difference. So yeah, I think they're worth experimenting with, even if you don't stick with them long term. Let me know in the comments what your current preferred string gauge is and why. And also, if you've tried out eights before, I'm definitely curious to hear what you think of them and whether you decided to stick with them long term. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.